Hello and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. And you can already see that I found something. <laughs> Didn't have to go very far. I think we left off just... I don't know where exactly. Just down here. I think I walked a little bit after the end of the episode. And then I uh, stopped somewhere in the water here to take the screenshot because I, I realized I had... I I didn't yeah, I forgot <laughs> I had forgotten to take a screenshot for a thumbnail and I didn't want to go back all the way to the only thing that we found in that episode which was the ice fishing hut um, for two reasons it was too far away and second reason it's a duplicate it wasn't really even that impressive so yeah but yeah just just I don't know a hundred blocks more and we would have found this. Windmill. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I haven't gone close to it yet. Ah, this is a. Uh, is this? Yeah, this is a steppe. I don't know. I'm gonna call it steppe because that's what it is. <laughs> if it is, I don't know. I don't know if you say it differently. I, I think I don't know. I don't care. That's the German way, way to say it, and it sounds like it's a German word anyway. So I'll stick with that. And there is... These leaves look really cool. I'm really all over the place. I, should, I shouldn't have started like this. I wasn't prepared to start it. I thought I would have to go a little bit uh, farther to find something interesting. Or even maybe make my way back home, all the way back home. But not the case. Let's try and get a decent screenshot of that. I think I like my shadow in this. Uh, what happens if I zoom in? That's too too much zoom. I wish I could zoom in a little bit for that. If I go back a little bit more. I don't know. <laughs> it's not perfect. Is that a decent screenshot? It's a bit too far away. It's just a tiny bit too far away and then there's no hill. Or this way, so if I get closer, then I'm, I'm kind of below it, which isn't great. I think this could work. Still looks pretty far away somehow. I think that's good. Alright, <laughs> enough time wasted with that. So yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been a few days. Four days, I think. Yeah, it has to be an even number of days, since every other day is Terra Restore right now. And uh, I don't know what I did in between. Oh yeah, the, the puzzle map, I remember, two days ago. Which came up. I was actually planning on doing uh, Life in the Woods, but then that puzzle map came up and I wanted to release it right away. So I did. <laughs> and uh, now we have some more Life in the Woods today. This looks really nice. I don't think we've... No, we haven't seen that yet. We've seen like a... I don't know what it was, the granary type thing. But not a windmill. Um, cornmeal. Okay, flour, some bread and dough, very nice. We can use all of that, basically. Some nice green letters. Is that tree part of it? Uh, I probably is. Do I have that sapling? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think so. What's that? Eucaly. Do I have that sapling? Oh yeah, because that's not Eucaly, maybe. Because uh, those are coolest leaves. Do I have those saplings? I don't remember. It's been too long since I found any saplings. I should really have a list of this type of stuff, because I, I seem to be unable to remember it. Ooh, an amethyst sword. That is nice. That is very nice, because now I can really use that one without worrying about it, because I can repair it. That is some great treasure. Whoever whoever owns this windmill <laughs> had an expensive sword. Is there a way to get out there, maybe? I don't think so. Okay, so what do we do about the leaves? So I break the leaves for the sapling. Because it doesn't seem to be a chest. 
which would be my which would be my preferred you know way of getting the sapling because then I wouldn't have to break anything. This looks really nice though. This is a really nice build. The nooses wood planks and then the dark wood you know for the roof and then the stone bricks and the, the cobwebs and uh, the lanterns and stuff. This is a really nice build. What is that? That's just a vote, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a really nice build. I'm very happy <laughs> about about the start. This is a good start to an episode. Could not be could not be better, basically. Uh do I want to try? I I have to. I have to try. Uh, what do I do? Maybe do it like this and just break one repeatedly. So I know for a fact that there's a way to get that, that yeah, there's a chance to get the sapling. Oh, those are eucalyptus leaves, though. So this the wood is the right type. The leaves have the wrong type, I guess. Okay. I still wonder why that happens. That the name is wrong for the leaves and the wood types sometimes. With these ancient trees. I'm not getting a sapling here. I could just chop it down. Or use a scythe, but... Oh, there we go. I think I have those already. Pretty sure. So that is treasure for sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's say it is. And now we do. Just this, I guess. Okay, those are lot of leaves. I definitely don't need them. Because that's not really. Okay, so that's the wrong wood type, too. Right. No, it is the right wood type, but it's the wrong leaf? Hmm. Because I don't want... I don't want lot of saplings. I have, like, millions of those. <laughs> but I don't have any... I don't think I have nooses, but I can't get them from the wood. I would have to have the right kind of leaf, and th those are not the right kind of leaves, unfortunately. Well... I guess that's it, then. Because I don't care about lot of saplings. All right, very nice. Is it downstairs? I don't think so. Yeah, don't don't think so. I mean, you can check real quick, but yeah, no, this it's just dirt. All right, so that's a really good start to an episode. I have to mark it on my map here, and then we can move on. And hope to find something something else in this episode. It would be <laughs> the best episode in days, in weeks, in months, even. Alright. Excellent. This is really nice. And what is this? Is this a dense forest? No, it's a... or is it? I'm not sure. It's a crash forest. Ah, I'll be right back. Yeah, it is it is a dense forest. And it's also a crash forest. <laughs> because it crashed me the second I stepped foot into it. Um I think there's something to be found in dense forests, but with the windmill right there and this biome not being all that big, maybe it extends far enough this way. Maybe go around it a bit on this side. And see if we if we spot anything in the forest. We've definitely found stuff on the outskirts of dense forests before. Uh, the the clay the clay guy, for example. One of, one of the very first ruins that I found. So yeah, dense forest might be good. And even though it's mm, it's not the best biome for visibility. Because it's you know it's a dense forest, uh, it's still I feel like it's still kind of easy to spot something that's like different 
because it's just all, it's just all trees and leaves. So if there's something that's a different kind of block or something, it, it should stick out. I think. I hope. <laughs> so I think we should be good if I just go around the side here. Should be able to spot. I didn't take the the bread. I just realized. Well, we'll go back for it. I forgot about that. I need the food. <laughs> I can't afford to leave it behind. Cause bread is actually pretty decent, uh, if you, especially if you toast it. It's a good, good, good food source. Especially when traveling like this. So yeah, there is no topic for today, <laughs> once again. Um, but I have stuff to talk about. Kind of. One point ten was released just like a few hours ago. And even though they had like a, the second pre-release and stuff, I still didn't expect it to come out this week, but it did. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a small update, but I don't know. Like I'm, I'm as I said in the previous episode, I'm okay with the the quick updates. Um, it definitely feels like it's the better choice to have, you know, small updates, but more frequently than to have than to like just collect a bunch of features and release it at once and that, that's kind of what 1.9 felt like i mean yeah it was the combat system and stuff but it really feels like they could have just done that and then i don't know yeah i don't know it, it feels like they took too long especially with what you know 1.9 is, is a decent update but there wasn't really all that much stuff ultimately I mean, yeah, way to respawn the Ender Dragon, very nice. Uh, making the end a bit more interesting, also a very good decision. The combat system I'm okay with. Um, I always felt like the the old, especially the melee combat, was just very boring. <laughs> and now it's a bit more challenging, even like PvE, some CTM maps and stuff. It's Without the spam clicking, it's really you have to actually think about your positioning and think about how many mobs you can take on at once and it also puts another emphasis on, on bow combat because bows have not been really affected at all I mean in PvP they have because of the shield but overall I really feel like um, it's a good change to the dynamic of the game and people are complaining but people are always complaining people don't like change truth is they just have to get used to the new system and then they'll be fine. I mean, like, when mob AI changed, people were complaining, and then they got used to it. It's just, that's the way it goes. Like, hunger and, and <laughs> armor, all those, all those systems changed in the past, and people were complaining, I'm pretty sure, at every stage, <laughs> about every little change. And uh, it's just, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it goes. And... Uh, yeah, so that's that's my my opinion on that. Um, they didn't fix the the boat or horse riding or well, the the passenger park where you go invisible when you are riding an entity. Uh, that kind of annoys me because it's a pain. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's just. I mean, for PvP, it's probably really really terrible. Um, so yeah, if you're playing a 1.9 UHC, no boats, no horses, because that just messes everything up. Invisible players and yeah, it's not not good. And even just in a normal like single player, if you have a skeleton horses spawned from the from the from the horse trap thing from the thunderstorms, uh, if you like unload them and then load them, like if you leave the, the chunk and then go back. They won't render correctly, so they they will they'll, they'll still uh, be on their horses, but you won't see them there. You'll see them like floating or standing around somewhere else, but they're actually still on their horses. So if you try to sh fight them, if you shoot them where you see them, you won't hit them. You have to actually shoot the empty space above the the horse to hit to hit the skeletons. Then, and that's really that's really annoying. That should not be a thing. You should definitely work on fixing that, especially since that's. I mean, they, that, that, there's a bug that has been introduced with 1.9. <laughs> that doesn't really look like they are getting. I, like I don't know. I'm, they're probably working on it. I mean, you have to be aware of it. I'm sure. Like it's reported and everything. I really hope they prioritize fixing that because it's annoying. And I mean, that's there. Like there are probably <laughs> dozens of other bugs that that should be prioritized. But yeah. That's one of them for sure. 
Um, well, I think I was going somewhere with this, and I don't remember now. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. It wasn't important. Um, yeah, one more thing, I guess. I've been kind of, I've been trying to pre-record a bunch of stuff, but I've, uh, well, I have, I have a few videos done, but not, not as many as I hoped I would get done. Because I'm kind of worried I might be out of com I don't know, I could be out of commission, <laughs> recording-wise, for a little bit in the near future, and that would, that would suck. My, my right tonsil is hurt, hurting <clears throat> when I swallow, and, yeah, it's probably nothing. But I hope it doesn't affect my voice. Right now it doesn't. Like talking is fine. It doesn't strain me or anything. It's just swallowing and like yeah, eating food is, is kind of <laughs> it's not it's not super painful. It's just kind of annoying right now. But you never know with this kind of stuff. If it like if it gets worse then that might be a problem with recording and that would suck. But so far so good, I guess. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I have yeah, I have videos for a few days. I should be fine. I've been doing a lot of um, it's a game, which probably isn't everyone's cup of tea. Like it's a very, I don't know, it's very. I I don't know how how to really explain it. <laughs> I, like puzzle games are really hard to record sometimes, especially like puzzle games like that where there's not a lot of visual stuff going on. Uh, lot, it's just a lot of me thinking, and it's really hard to talk while thinking as well, especially in the harder puzzles on the hard, harder levers. Uh, it just makes it it makes me go quiet a lot, which is probably not great. But I still I I wanted to finish the game, and. Um, I wanted to finish it on video, <laughs> so I did. I finished it. There are a few more episodes. Two more, maybe? I don't remember how many I did. <laughs> the last one is super long, because I didn't want to do another one. And um, I might do more videos, but um, like there's, there's still more stuff to do. There are custom levers you can download, and there are like the blind levers I haven't done yet. But there's, yeah, it's not going to be daily anymore. Uh, Actually, I thought I would be I would be done a little bit quicker, so I thought it would be fine to do it daily, real, real quick, and then just go back to puzzle maps and stuff and other Minecraft maps. But it took me a bit longer than I thought it would, because uh, the levels got really hard at the end. Like the last world is really I don't know why it, it felt like it shouldn't be that hard, but it actually was the I mean it makes sense it was the hard the t like the last world, the last level, the last stage of the game should probably be the hardest. And it really was. It was significantly harder, I thought, in the previous worlds. But yeah, I'm done with that. Uh, with the like, with the main content of that game. It's a really cool game. So if you like puzzle games, you should definitely check it out. And it's also on on iOS and Android. So if you just need something <laughs> to play while I don't know, sitting in the bus or <laughs> in the bathroom or whatever, then that might be a good game. Just play a few levers and then, yeah. It's definitely very well made. And it's always good to see. Or oh, it's good, it's just, in general, it's good to see you have. It's good to see people have success. And. Ah, I crashed again. Why? Today? It's not a good day. I'll be right back. Alright, back again. It's probably that Shanger or Fungi Forest or whatever it is. It's not good. <laughs> not good for memory usage, I guess. Um, I don't really know. Oh, no, I do know what I was saying. Uh, yeah, it's good to see someone from the Minecraft community like have success like that. And I don't even know. Like I'm not talking about sales here. I don't know how many copies he actually sold of the game. But that doesn't like that doesn't really matter. It's just releasing a game on that scale is is a success in in and of itself. So that's just great to see. Uh, it's also nice to see that I guess for other map makers that there is um, a relatively. I mean, not it's not an easy. It's not it's not easy developing a game, <laughs> but that there's a path from 
making maps for Minecraft to, you know, being being a game developer and uh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how how much how much is gonna, you know, pay off pay off financially. Uh, I don't know how many copies he's going to sell. He's already sold, but with the way he released on iOS, uh, Google Play, and on Steam, I mean that's. I don't know how many potential buyers is is that. That's probably billions, right? Like with all the like all the phones in the world, <laughs> and then on Steam, it's just a huge amount of people who potentially you know will see your game and maybe buy it. Uh, so it's not unreasonable to expect, or to you know, <laughs> to, to it's not it's not unrealistic that he might sell you know a few thousand copies at least. That's not. I have no I I have no idea honestly I've never I don't I don't know about <laughs> yeah how many how many sales you actually get on mobile games and stuff like that but the potential market is huge so it doesn't feel unrealistic to sell a few thousand copies of a game and that you know that that adds up and it's not going to be enough to like <laughs> retire or anything but it has to be very encouraging Especially since you know map making is notoriously hard to monetize, especially now with the change in the euro again, where you can't commission you know maps, Microsoft maps, like big companies can't commission themed maps to advertise things. Which, you know, on one hand it's good, but also it's bad. It's like a very I don't know. It didn't feel like it was a problem. And uh, there was definitely some good maps that were, you know, commissioned, or I don't know, like the the heist, the game band map was supported or commissioned by game band. Stuff like that wouldn't be possible now. So that map might not have happened without, you know, game band, and now it, yeah, it wouldn't be illegal to commission a map like that. So it's kind of sad to see that we might not see any more you know, maps of that scale. Because it's a lot of work and there's no, uh, usually there's no money in it for the map makers. I mean, some map makers, you know, do YouTube as well and that that pays a little bit, but to really, like, to really make money off of YouTube, you have to have a, a huge following and a lot of, like, a lot of content. <laughs> very, very frequent content. So yeah, it's, it's tough tough out there <laughs> and it got a little bit tougher all right what else is there to talk about it's almost <laughs> and that's kind of off topic I guess um, it's almost time for the European championship in soccer or football it doesn't really bother me that much to say soccer because I don't say foot like when I say football in real life I'm usually talking about American football because when I'm talking about <laughs> sports in real life, I'm usually speaking German, and that's not like football. If you say football in German, like in a German sentence, if you use the word fo football, you're of obviously referencing American football because otherwise you would say Fußball, which is German for football. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. There should be football totally. Like it doesn't make. It doesn't make sense that American football is called football. That's just there's no <laughs> there's no reasonable explanation for that. Um, but yeah, the European Championship is coming up, the Euros 2016, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> that most of my audience here on YouTube does not care about sports, and even you know. Of those who might care a little bit about sports, most of them probably don't care about soccer because they're American and they don't they don't care. <laughs> um, but it's fine. I still I'm still bringing it up because it's gonna be. I hope it's not gonna be affecting the channel too much, but it might be because I'll watch a lot of <laughs> a lot of games. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Um, so I guess I guess a brief overview um, for you. <laughs> uninformed uh, people out there. Every every four years, there's a European Championship. Also, every four years, there's a 
World Cup, but those are like offset by two years. Uh, so the last World Cup was in 2014 in Brazil, and now 2016 European Championship in. Well, and that's one of those. Like it, that's. <laughs> it sounds always weird to say in English to me. France. I don't know. It doesn't sound right. It just sounds so weird. It it sounds better to me to say France, which is like the, I'm, and I'm not. I'm probably have, like it doesn't sound right either because I'm not. I can't speak French. But just I don't know. The, the English name <laughs> for that country is it sounds really weird to me for some reason. I can't really put my finger on it. Like I can't explain why. It just sounds so weird to say it in English or like the way. English-speaking people say it. it just doesn't sound right to me. I don't know why. Like in German, it's it's Frankreich, which you know it's just completely different. But so it's not that. I don't know. I I don't know why it bothers me, but it just sounds so weird. Either way, that's where the European Cup is held. Um, Austria managed to qualify. It's the first time we managed to qualify for a European Championship. We've played in one before uh, in 2008, but. The only reason we were allowed to play back then was because we were the hosts or co-hosts of Switzerland. Uh, but this is the first time we've actually managed to qualify through a qualification tournament. So that's that's a big success. We have we have a pretty good team this year. Um, I'm going. Yeah, I think we have the best team that I that I can remember. We had a decent team in 1998 that managed to qualify for the World Cup, which was also held in France. <laughs> Uh, France. I don't know. It just sounds France. I don't know. It just sounds so weird. It, I guess it maybe it sounds like a like a name to me. Like France is a is a name in German. Like it's I guess it's yeah Frank. That's the German version of not quite. I mean there's Frank as well, which is the same like spelled the same. It's just a different version of that, I guess. It'll probably be Francois in French. I don't know. Like I'm all over the place now. Like my thoughts. Like I'm now. I'm just thinking about why it sounds so weird to me. Whatever. But that was also. That was just the last time we managed to qualify for a big tournament. Uh, 1998. We had a good team back then, but we didn't get out of the group stage. We managed to get draw draws against uh, Cameroon and uh, Chile, and we lost against Italy, and then we were out of the tournament. Um, and this year, this year we might have a shot. We have a good team. Tough group, I think, with uh, Hungary, Portugal, Portugal, and Iceland. But we have a good team. We have, we have all, you know, we have reasons to be confident in this team. They've been good for the last, even for the last for World Cup qualifiers. They were good. They just barely missed out on. On on the second uh, second place in the, in the qualifying group, but which could have been enough to get us there. But this last like these last two years have been really really good. Um, I'm not gonna like name any names or anything because you don't know <laughs> and you don't care probably. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a good team. There's a lot of there's a lot of good teams though. Like a lot of, I mean the usual suspects. Sure, like Germany is gonna be. Probably good, even though they, like if you look at their roster, they don't. It doesn't look that great. It doesn't look that exciting. There's nothing. It seems kind of unbalanced. There are a lot of like players who not, you know, who are not top of their game right now. So, you know, some injured players could be, you know, who probably would be, you know, starters usually. But still, it's Germany. They'll they'll be fine. They always are somehow. <laughs> not not a fan. <laughs> In case you didn't. I didn't convey that with my tone of voice. Um, the French themselves probably gonna be a good team. I mean, they've won in '98 at home the World Cup, and they won one more tournament before that at home. So they always, they're always good at home, and they have a, they have a good young team. They have some issues with some like yeah, with some blackmail <laughs> thing going on. I don't know. So there's some interpersonal issues with that team, but on paper they have a good squad, so they should be good. And there's some other, like the other big nations, always Italy. Uh, they don't, they don't look that great, but you know, 
it's like Italy is probably hard, hard, the hardest to predict um, right now. They might do well. They might just flank out as well. It's it's tough to it's tough to say. Um, Spain still has a good team. They've won the last European, the last two European championships, actually in twenty twelve and in two thousand eight. So they don't look as strong as they used to, but they're probably still a really good team. And. Surprisingly, the English have a really good team on paper this year. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they are they are English still, so they probably find a way to mess it up somehow. But on paper, they could be they could be a really you know <laughs> good team this year. They have lots of good players, especially up front. I don't I don't remember. Like thinking like that about an English team. Like since I since I've been following the sport, English teams have always been like, eh, like a few good players, but overall flawed. But now, is this team? I I like this team. <laughs> I I actually already liked them in in Brazil. I thought they had a good team. Then they just couldn't quite put it all together. They were like missing maybe a few pieces, but. I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if they did if they did well this tournament. But at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't either, because it's England. Uh -huh. And they have a reputation for you know not quite living up to to expectations. But who knows? Fifty years of hurt, maybe maybe football is finally coming home. <laughs> uh and then there's a few other like smaller nations who have really good teams, comparatively speaking. Uh Belgium. They've been really good at the World Cup already. Well, I guess they, they didn't have. They actually didn't have the best World Cup. Uh, I think they were kind of below expectations as well. They have lots, lots of good players and lots of success in recent years. Wales is a good team. You know, Iceland has a good team. Portugal is always kind of a dark horse in every tournament ever. It's gonna be interesting. It's, I mean, <laughs> I, I like the sport. I like football. I like soccer. Whatever. Um, so it's going to be interesting either way, but this might be a really interesting tournament. It feels like it's really set up for a lot of um, surprises and uh, upsets. So that would be, you know, it's always fun. Some underdogs. And Austria definitely is an underdog still, even though they play a great qualifiers. Um, we're still not really considered <laughs> world class <laughs> throughout, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, hopefully it's going to be a good tournament. I wouldn't be surprised to see some upsets and then some, at least in the semis, I don't know, maybe not in the final, but to see someone in the semis who's not expected to make it that far. And obviously Austria, we would be happy if you if managed to get out of the group. Because you have to grow, you have to grow slowly, there's no, no other way to do it. And I mean, for, for a bunch of the players, it might not be, they're not, we're not, like, we're kind of a, team is kind of young, I guess, so they, they might have other other shots at other tournaments, but for some of them this might be one of the last opportunities at a big tournament like that, especially with you know younger players coming up and stuff like that, so it's not like we just we can just throw away this tournament, <laughs> but I think one of the biggest things holding us back might be the, our lack of experience. Uh, we just have a few players who played in 2008, and that's it, there's no big like national team uh, tournament experience in the squad at all, uh, and it always feels like, or yeah, for most teams, it feels like they have to grow through, you know, a few big tournaments to actually really be able to compete for a title. I mean, there's always like ex you know exceptions to that. Greece in in 2004, or even like Spain when they they didn't really work up to 2008. They just were there and then were really good for four years. But for example, Germany was good in 2006, but not quite. When we were good again in 2008, but not quite good enough. When we were good again in 2010, but not quite good enough. Then they uh, actually thought they had a little bit of a setback in, in 2012, and then they came back in 2014 and and won the World Championship. It's just, you know, it takes time to grow a winner. It is just, that's just usually how it goes. You don't just become good overnight. You have to have the experience. You have to have, you know, to know 
how to play these big games and our team definitely doesn't <laughs> but yeah um, I guess enough about that <laughs> since you guys probably really don't care I don't know like it always feels like maybe that's just a perception thing but it always feels like the the gaming community and the sports community don't really overlap all that much and then you know especially with, with soccer like uh, most of YouTube at least it feels like most of YouTube is American yeah <laughs> you guys probably don't care ah oh, that's quicksand it's annoying so yeah I think that's enough about that I could talk forever about soccer about the teams <laughs> I don't know. But I won't. I mean I might I might mention things. I probably will cuz it's going to be like I'm going to be thinking about it. I'm going to be watching games and then record or record just before I watch games probably throughout this next month. <laughs> um yeah, or the next 4 weeks or whatever. So, it's going to be it's gonna be on my mind a lot, so I probably won't be able to avoid it entirely. But I won't be like dedicating entire episodes to it. I think. Or maybe I should do that. Ah, no, I don't have like I don't have an audience for that kind of stuff. It wouldn't make sense <laughs> to do like a, a soccer talk, football talk thing. Uh, and I don't even actually own a, a current like game, FIFA or Pro Evolution Soccer, so I can't even have uh, an appropriate backdrop. <laughs> For that kind of stuff, but yeah, I think I think it's time. It's time to move on again. <laughs> it's time to leave, leave this episode behind and uh, hope for better stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to explore this continent here, or this island here, but I do. I thought about going home straight, but um, or going straight home, but. Um, I, I kind of want. I wanted to walk a little bit more, see a little bit more. It felt like there was more here. You know what I mean? But uh, no such luck. Yeah, it's really disappointing. <laughs> Again, because there's nothing. Ah, this is such a... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to do about this. About this series. I don't want to end it yet. I feel like there's more to see and more to do, but I don't know how to approach things. I should just play more. Because then I would have an easier time finding things if I just did more walking off camera. Uh, or even like building, if I did that. Ah, I should I should just make time to do that. It's just such a pain because usually when I like play, like when I dig on the server or something, I'm like I'm watching something on YouTube which doesn't require me to like look at it all the time, or I'm listening to music or a podcast or something. But with this game, like it crashes so often when I do, like when I have the browser open, it just uh, digging memory thing just happens all the time. So I feel like I can't really do that conveniently, and then I just never play it. Because that would be super easy, like, while listening to something, or, or you know, half watching a YouTube video, I could just walk around in here, it would be no problem at all. Have you ever seen two whales right next to each other? <laughs> I'm not sure if we have. Uh, and all these oceans are so underwhelming too. They're like they are tiny, and there's nothing in them. It's disappointing. <laughs> there's some, there's some air pockets there. So there's a, I think I've mentioned it before. There's a mine shaft underneath there. But I don't really care about mine shafts. What is that? That's just a sand thing. It's just a sand thing. It just looks suspicious. But it's not suspicious. Well, I think, I don't know how long this episode actually is. I think it's about 40 minutes. I'm 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 sure that the first, the, like before I crashed the first time, I recorded for 10 minutes. 
but I, d I have no clue how long I recorded until the second crash happened. So <laughs> I'm guessing another ten, but I, I don't, I don't really know. This is now is twenty one, so it should be about forty minutes. It's long enough, easily long enough. I'm actually trying to cut down the length a little bit, but I, I, I fail, <laughs> fail every time. So there's always just more to say, more to see, more to do. Is this even? No, it definitely is an ocean coral reef, yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to go home. I'm not ready to give up yet. But it might be time. Is there actually ocean in between here and there? Like sometimes it's so hard to like, estimate what's going to happen biome-wise. Like, I was sure this was just solid land, but there's actually ocean in between. That's interesting. Well, yeah, but uh, yeah, all the oceans are tiny, and it, this still like this feels like it's perfect for like this is so far away from the windmill. It's perfect for something underwater. Why isn't there anything underwater? Come on, come on, world, give me something. But the world doesn't listen. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Uh, do I have a screenshot? I do have a screenshot. Yes, I did this, take a screenshot of the windmill, so I'm good. Don't have to improvise a screenshot for a thumbnail. Everything's fine. Uh, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, I don't know, all over the place kind of episode talking about other games, uh, talking about Minecraft, talking about um, my throat <laughs> and soccer so perfect makes perfect sense right either way this is it i hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you soon probably this week probably in two days or in four isn't four days still this week <laughs> isn't four days sunday i don't know i think so but i don't have a plan yet <laughs> Yeah, that's it though. Now, now for real. Go away. Bye-bye. <laughs>